Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Greetings in the most wonderful and blessed name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to this victorious and joyful daily devotion. May the Lord bless you as you listen to this today's devotion based on the divine God's word. Topic for today, God's presence is always there with us. God's presence is always there with his children. He will support us and be with us in the time of trouble. Isaiah 43 verses 2 and 3 says, A great affirmation of God's presence with us. When you go through deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The fumes will not consume you, for I am the Lord your God. When you became a Christian, can you and I expect life to suddenly be easy? No, troubles are always there, but His presence is always with us. If you look the right way, you can see the whole world is a garden. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. The only ray of hope in trouble is God is with us. I bet you found out pretty quickly that Christians face do face all kinds of trials, including relational, financial, physical and mental. Some people expect life to be heaven on earth, but this is not heaven. We pray for God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Everything on this planet is broken. The weather, the economy, our bodies and our relationships don't always work right. We can be sure that because of sin, bad things will happen. We can also be assured of God's promises to support us in all the troubles we will face on this earth. When we go through deep waters and rivers of difficulty, God does not promise that we won't get wet Sometimes life hurts, but God does promise that we are not going to drown when we go through the fire. It's going to get hot, but God promises that we are not going to burn up. We are going to make it through. Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and empowers me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through Him who infuses me with inner strength and confidence. Well, that doesn't mean that you can do anything because of who you are and who I am. It means you can have confidence in whatever trouble life brings because we face it with the power of Christ in us. You may not feel strong, very strong right now, but strength will come when we need it. The Bible doesn't say to ask God for your weekly or monthly bread. It says to pray something like this. God, give me my daily bread. Daily bread. I need just enough strength for today. God will support us in our trouble. He always gives us strength we need for today. Help us, Lord, to understand the times of troubles and testings are always there. But Lord, we believe that your presence will be with us and you are our hope and strength. And you are our rock, refuge, fortress and strong power. Help us to understand that you will be with us till the end. Thanking you and praising you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember Jesus loves you and cares for you.